Hello, Earth Signs. I hope you are doing fantastic. Thank you for joining me for another group session. So if you're Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, these messages will be for you. Now, friends, if you haven't been to a group session before, all good. Just understand, not all messages are going to resonate, and that's just fine. If you need a private session, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com, where you can also sign up for my Beginner Pendulum Workshop, which is going to be February 26th. And you can also sign up for my Psychic 101 Beginner Workshop, which is on Saturday the 27th. These are beautiful workshops, especially if you are a beginner. So sign up for those before they are gone. And of course, friends, if you enjoy these messages, please don't forget to support me so I can keep supporting you. Now, Earth signs. There's a full moon coming up this week, the snow moon, and in um, Ojibwe tradition, this would be the bear moon, okay? Now, so you guys might be in a place right now where you're feeling like you're not enough, or you feel like you're not connecting to your power, you know? And all of us go through that from time to time. But bear medicine here is reminding you to put those beautiful paws on the ground, connect with Mother Earth, and connect to your inner power and your inner strength, okay? Because we all got it, we got it. We just need a little reminder now and then. But if you're triggered this week, this very well might be why, okay? So, let's look at some overall energies for each of you, and then we'll go into more advice and guidance. So. Starting with Taurus. All right. Swan and Grace, Taurus. And this says, appreciate the beauty inside and all around you. So with this card showing up, it's really telling me that it is time to count your blessings. So there might be some things coming up this week for you that make you feel out of sorts or make you feel like you're on shaky ground or that maybe the things that you wanted to work out aren't working out for you and so you might be a little down in the dumps or discouraged about what's going on. But Swan is here to tell you that still, regardless of this not working out or this being uncomfortable, when you take a look over here and take a look over there, you're in pretty good shape. You still have love, you still have supporters, you still have friends who love you and accept you, and you have your own skills, knowledge, and abilities to be able to fall back on. So don't fret if you feel like things aren't going your way, because in fact, there is beauty all around you, Taurus. All right, let's take a look at some more details for you. Taurus, please, what are we talking about here? So, first of all, you might be either going through some family situations or really going against the grain of where you thought you were going to be and maybe taking a different direction and going across or going out of the beaten path for you. Ancestors and generations is showing up. So this is telling me, like I said, number one, there could be family pressure on you. There could be, you know, for example, and this is just an example, if everybody in your household was always a doctor and you, they want you to be a doctor, but you don't want to be a doctor, you want to do something else and you want to change the path for yourself that someone else has laid out for you, this can add a lot of pressure to you. This can make you feel like you're doing the wrong thing or that you're going against the grain and as a result might put yourself into um, um, more uncertain waters and when there's other people around you who want you to take a similar path or do things a certain way it can add extra pressure so this is really telling me that you are either breaking generational ties or generational karma or decisions and trying to remove those belief systems that other people have had you really take on and you're starting to do your own thing but this is difficult right it's very difficult to do this because often when we break away and do our own thing we don't get the support of others but what is most important here is that you align with what is right for you because nobody else can tell you what is right for you. Only you can. Ceremony and invocation. Wow, Taurus. So this is about manifestation. This is about you putting your energies, your emotions, and your intuitive feelings in a, in, in a um, what's the word? in an intentional direction to create something that you want. So you have the energies at your availability and especially when you are grateful for all that is around you and you have this attitude of gratitude, then what happens is the universe responds to your attitude and brings you more happiness, brings you more things to be grateful for, right? So see this card right here and notice how the snake is showing up here as well and it showed up in your ancestors and generations card too. No surprise there. So this is about you breaking free moving forward, but putting positive energy in front of all of this. Not the negative energies of, oh, I shouldn't have to do this, or they want me to do this, and blah, 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 blah. No, build from the other way. Build from the inside out. I love doing this. I want to see this happen. I feel excited about this. And wrap all that up with your beautiful intentions and send it out to the universe for the universe to respond to. Not to the other people who don't support you or don't want to see you doing these new things, okay? That's not for you. They may not support you, but you 
have to support yourself and start rowing that boat in the direction that you want to see things happen. And you have to rule with happiness, with gratitude, with joy, in order for you to call things to you that will match the frequency of gratitude, happiness, and joy. You can absolutely do it, but you have to be hands-on in this. Taurus, look what you're moving forward towards. Lake and stillness. This is a beautiful card. This is a card that validates that when you connect to your own inner guidance, your own inner wisdom, and you calm things down, that you find that you have everything you need. Things become clear. You're able to move forward and see the forest through the trees and start to take more steps and continue your journey and go forward into areas that you're unfamiliar with, okay? You're about to launch a beautiful journey, Taurus, okay? So make sure you don't bring any baggage along the way that will hold your uh, momentum or that will confuse you. You know what is right for you. Say goodbye to the must-haves and the should-dos and you connect to what feels good for you so you can create what feels good to you and move forward with smooth waters. I love this message, Taurus. I love it. Virgo. How are my Virgo buddies doing? So let's take a look at overall energies for you, my Virgo pals, and maybe some advice and guidance. Check it out. Didn't I talk about bear energy? Virgo, Virgo, right? Do you resonate with this? Okay, so bear energy and boundaries, and this says stand your ground. Okay, now this doesn't mean that you're approaching the table ready to fight. This talks about knowing what is right for you and not being afraid to stand up for yourself. Doesn't mean you have to be mean and nasty. The bear often doesn't go on attack. All the bear really needs to do is stand there in her own strength and own her power. Many times people are gonna back down from this bear energy just because they see bear is solid in their self and there's no point in fighting it because they know what they want and they know who they are, okay? So, we're go. Three more cards. First card, rain and purification. This card is telling you that there's some things that you need to get rid of, okay? There might be some old belief systems that you're holding on to, maybe people that aren't supporting you, whatever this looks like for you, okay? But purify, purification. This really means that we have to look at these things that aren't serving us, that aren't making us feel good, the things that clutter our brains, the things that hold us back. And you have to look at them for what they are and ask yourself the question, how does this make me feel? And if it makes you feel insecure, unhappy, all of that stuff, it's time to see it for what it is and rid it and get it off your plate, okay? Now with these approaches and with these things coming up often the momentum is two steps forward and one step behind because it does at times take time to really understand what these old systems are trying to tell you and to be okay with saying goodbye to them okay so take the proper time to do this work because you don't want it showing up for you later on and then hindering your progress okay but as you get rid of these things that you that aren't serving you anymore you're going to come to clarity you're going to be able to see things more smoothly and be able to move forward confidently Okay, now something else as a heads up, okay, especially with bear and boundaries coming up, you might have some people who don't agree with what you're doing, who don't agree with your choices, who might try to make you feel guilty or shame you for doing the things that you want to do, okay? Lightning and power. So this can often be people clashing, personalities clashing. This person wants A, but this person wants B, okay? This isn't about bellying up to the table to have a fight. This is about knowing where there's unstable energy and choosing not to show up to the fight. Again, keep your boundaries in place, but it doesn't mean you have to go on the attack, especially if someone else is attacking you. Sometimes it's best to see that for what it is, instable energies, fear-based energies and choose not to absorb fear-based energies from other people into yourself. Ask yourself the question, if before this person showed up, if you were feeling confident, why would you feel not confident now, right? Maybe it's their insecurities, right? Um, for example, right, you might have someone who says, you know, that's not right because people who diss, who do this are insecure, or people who do this aren't sure of themselves. That's this person's mirror. That's them being uncomfortable with something, not you. So ask yourself the question, if someone's coming out on the attack or trying to make you feel like you're wrong, ask yourself the question, is this my insecurity or is it their insecurity? You don't have to call them out on it, but you also don't have to align with it, Virgo. Okay, and what's gonna happen? Waterfall and effortless. 
this is a beautiful, beautiful message. And what this says is when you roll with the punches, right? You don't get caught up in all of the drama. You don't get caught up in overthinking a process. Things start to move forward effortlessly. They just flow, okay? So get out of your own way and, allow, and don't take on other people's thoughts and judgments about what your path is because your path is not for them. They have their own path. Align with your own path, align with your own strengths, create your own boundaries to help you stay on the path and not get distracted so you can be in the flow. I love that, Virgo. Capricorn, you are up next. So let's see overall energies for Capricorn in this bare moon. Capricorn, a really strong message coming up for you. Raven and magic. And what it says down here is own your power. Capricorn, this is a very strong message of transformation, of positive change, about uh, evolution and releasing old things and letting them go so that you create space to bring in new things. Now, sometimes people think the raven or the crow is the bird of death, okay? And that sounds really heavy. But if you think about it, I mean, really even in here, when we die, our physical body passes away, but our soul remains intact. So just because things change form doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes you need to let things go so you can birth new things, okay? So don't be afraid of change because sometimes when you let let go of some things that are holding you back and bring in new power, that's when you really sit in your power. Okay, Capricorn? So, supporting messages for Capricorn. Advice, guidance, or what we can expect. Capricorn, please. Three cards for Capricorn. Capricorn, this is amazing and it's really validating everything that I said. First up, ocean ebb and flow. So with this raven and magic card, you know, letting go of some things, transforming yourself, evolution, ebb and flow talks about the ups and downs and especially when they hit you emotionally. And it can be very difficult to make decisions and to move forward strong in your own power independently when you feel unstable, especially when this affects your emotions or when other people are trying to impact your decisions, especially where fear-based energy is concerned. But this is telling you, if you ride the waves, Capricorn, and don't get caught up in the emotional storm, you're gonna be able to sail through things, okay? See the sun? You are still being guided by the light. So even though you have these highs and lows, just see them for what they are. It's your mind giving you different thoughts and ideas to chew on, okay? But you need to stay strong with what feels good in your heart and you will be able to ride through this, okay? And what other advice is here for you? tree and grounding. That's right. Very similar to this ocean ebb and flow card, right? If you're feeling out of sorts, if you're riding these emotional waves, what should you do? Ground yourself, connect to the earth, connect back to yourself. You don't have to sit up here in these what if scenarios and roll them around in your head, which is only gonna make you more confused and feel more insecure. Connect with the earth, connect with what feels right for you. Even if that means meditation, exercise, getting out in nature and connecting with the nature elements, okay? If you feel so strong, do some earthing. Walk barefoot in the earth. I know it's cold out there right now, friends, but it's not that bad, actually. So connect, ground, use crystals, put your hands in the dirt, even if it's just in your house plants. Have a beautiful salt bath. Do things to combat these emotional ups and downs so you can remain calm and stay focused. Well, look what you're working with or working towards. Capricorn, you are reinventing yourself. What are we talking about? Raven, right? Change, evolution. And spring equinox is really just around the corner, so there's beautiful timing involved in this card as well. The things that you're trying to do, shed and change, and move forward to are really right around the corner. So the time to look at these things is now, right? Own your power, connect to what is right for you. Don't be afraid to feel vulnerable, because when we feel vulnerable, that's when we open our ideas and ourselves to other things that are new to us and we can grab hold of them with two hands and really integrate them into our bodies, okay? See this beautiful butterfly? Change, transformation, okay? So you are reinventing yourself and if you want to be able to get there, you have to start now. So don't be afraid to go in these ups and downs because looking at these ups and downs and then grounding yourself is going to help you remain on track for what's right for you and completely reinvent yourself. Earth signs. I hope you enjoyed these messages for our bare moon coming up. If you enjoyed them, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, join me for my psychic development workshop and for my pendulum workshop at the end of the month. And certainly next week for your next group session.
Thank you, Earth Signs.